Hey YouTubers and iPhone owners. This video is a tutorial on how to make a custom ringtone for your iPhone. So you'll need an iPhone and you'll need iTunes. And if you have an iPhone, then more than likely you'll have iTunes as well. So I'm going to do this on a PC, on my home computer. I don't know how it works on a Mac because I don't have a Mac and I've never used one. So this is just for a PC and I have Windows 7. Um, so I've already got my iPhone 11 plugged in via USB cable to the computer. And I've already opened up iTunes. And since it's plugged in, my device is listed over here on this side. And I can open this up and then I have some submenus down here. One of them being tones. And I've already downloaded a bunch of uh, custom ringtones into here, but I'm going to make another one right now. So I'm going to go back to my song library. And for the purposes of this video, I'm going to have to pick something that's not copyrighted. So I've got a bunch of free music down here. And I can use, uh, let's say, this one. now is I'm going to right click on this song and then I'm going to have song info I'm going to click on that then I'm going to go to options and then um, I'll start at zero and I'm going to go to 30 seconds I'm going to actually have to put in zero um, colon 30 that's 30 seconds right there and then click OK and then I'm going to since that's already highlighted now I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go to convert and then create AAC version and it's going to take a few seconds and there'll be the second one listed down below here the 30 second clip that I just made then if I right click on that it, it will show me in Windows Explorer so I have that here so now um, I have to rename the extension but I'm not showing any extensions right now and I've tried this uh, from another video where I simply copied that particular clip and then I put it on my desktop and then to the end of it I added .m4r thinking that would be enough to make the extension uh, it was not in my case, I'm going to show you here in a second what else we have to do and then I can delete it from down here, which I'm going to delete Delete from library, get rid of that. I just don't need it. Okay, so back to, so I, I made a copy of this here. So, ideally now, all I would have to do is right click on this, copy it, go to tones, and then right click on tones, and there should be a paste option here, but there isn't. And I also cannot just drag it into, into uh, iTunes either it doesn't work so what I found what I have to do is I have to show the extensions and um, they're basically hidden right now so all I have to do is go up here on uh, the window go to tools or uh, sorry yeah it is tools folder options then in this I'm gonna go to view and here on the list of things, one of the things that's checkmarked is hide extensions for known file types. Well, I don't want to hide it. I want to see it. So I'm going to click that and apply it. And OK. Now we can see here that this file uh, has his house. That was the name of the song. Plus the .m4r that I have added to it. Plus a .m4a, which is the actual extension. So I don't need this 4R in here. I'm going to get rid of that. What I do want to do is I want to change the M4A to an M4R. So I'm just going to delete, delete the A and make that an R. And then it's going to give me this little uh, warning here. If you change a file name extension, 
The file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes, I do. I'm going to get rid of this one. So now you can also see um, that the little tile here has changed to the iTunes uh, picture. So I'm going to right click on that now. Go to copy. Go back to tones. Right click on that. Now the paste option is available. And there you go. As at the top, it added this what I just made a new ringtone under tones and um, I will go back up here the top to click on my phone basically on the device and then I can sync and it's waiting to sync now it's preparing to sync step 2 of 4 determining tracks to sync waiting to uh, for changes to be applied and blah blah blah. Okay, one of the songs was missing. It doesn't really matter. Finishing sync done. Okay. Now, if I open up my uh, on my iPhone, the settings, I would go to sound and haptics, and then I can uh, select ringtone or text tone or all, all those new voicemail, new mail, that kind of stuff. Right. If I just go to ringtone. I now have house listed underneath my ringtones. So I just clicked on that on my phone. That's what we're listening to right now. And it's 30 seconds of this. I have other tones I made as well, like this one. Or this one. Um, some other things too. This guy. That. Anyway. So, it's on my phone. It worked. That's it. It's not that difficult. Um, my problem when I initially tried it, looking at other videos, was just simply not seeing the file extensions. So that's probably... Uh, going to be an issue with uh, some users who were not aware, as I was not aware, how to uh, view the file extensions. So again, that's up tools. You can open up any folder, basically. Go to tools, go to folder options, go to view, and then here on files and folders, you're going to have a bunch of items, and you just want to make sure that the hide extensions for known file types is not clicked. So you can see all the extensions. Once you're done making your uh, tunes or your uh, ringtones, you can hide them again if you just don't want to have um, extra letters next to your file names. Um, but if you do want to make a ringtone, you'll need to see that so you can change that. And there you go. That's it. Hopefully it was helpful. See ya.